Guten Abend, verehrte Hello Zuschauer. Hello and welcome. The mainstream media's staunch depiction of themselves as an impartial and neutral news coverage authority is increasingly being questioned and shaken. Nearly all the news and television stations allow themselves to be carried away into playing a purposefully untruthful political game. Too often they project onto their portrayal of the supposed en enemy that which they and their allies are doing themselves. After noting this, one sees that this pattern is far-reaching. Here are a few examples concerning the current situation in the Ukraine. In their news broadcast, Daily Topic, on March 2, 2014, the German television station ARD reports, Putin is determined not to let Ukraine out of his stranglehold. He sees his influence on the former Soviet states dwindling, and in light of this, he does not hold back from an armed intervention in Ukraine. To remind you, the disputes in the Ukraine began last year in November as President Yanukovych made clear that he did not want to sign any association agreements with the European Union. Instead, he began to draw closer to Russia. Exactly then, the violent protests began against this democratically elected Ukrainian government. These protests obviously were not initiated by disappointed citizens, but were planned, organized and financed behind the scenes by Western powers. The intercepted telephone conversations of both U.S. diplomat Victoria Newland and the European Union representative for foreign affairs Catherine Ashton, as well as hacked emails of the opposition leader Vitaly Klitschko and many other eyewitness accounts irrevocably prove this. Are not the European Union and partners the ones who have been putting a stranglehold on the Ukraine and want to avoid at any cost Ukraine moving closer to Russia? Mainstream media presents the fact that Europe and the United States are behind the insurgency in Ukraine as a Russian conspiracy theory, and what Russia is doing now is anyway only a propaganda war, completely lacking objectivity. In this information war, Russia is supposedly using its indoctrinated media to spread powerfully symbolic images and invoking gestures. The South German News analyzes, Putin stages everything so that his possible intervention would look like a rescue mission, and they claim the Russian media always uses the following pattern. I quote, First, one sees threatening scenes of Russian demonstrators and Maidan revolt supporters conflicting or chasing each other through the streets. Following this, the cry for help from the people. An elderly lady tells a reporter, the Russian soldiers are our only protection against the chaos and nightmare that the Ukraine is falling into. End of quote. At this point, I would like to remind you of the images you have seen in the mainstream press these past few weeks. Didn't we see Western interest groups joining together to present themselves as saviors of Ukraine? Did we not see and read Vitaly Klitschko's appeals and other calls to the Western world asking for intervention, while television depicted the poor protesters and a brutal dictator? It is very interesting and important to note what the press is denouncing here. At this point, the old saying would fit well, he who lives in a glass house should not throw stones. We urgently recommend that you watch our other English videos, terrorist activities of quote-unquote peaceful demonstrators and others concerning the Ukraine, which prove how violently the Ukrainian government was toppled. Also, we recommend you hear the interview with government advisor and commentator of political and current affairs, Christoph Horstel, concerning the situation in the Ukraine, soon available in English. You'll see the link, link blended into your screen. Tell your friends, acquaintances, colleagues and relatives about our internet broadcast so that they can also form their own opinions. Thanks and goodbye for now.